Hi everyone, welcome back. As you can see behind me, we have a full pit of silage done, which is great. We have an empty pit over there. That'll be for second caution in a couple of weeks time. Uh, we'll actually, we'll be using the silage safe system on that one, so there'll be no tires. Uh, so we'll be looking forward to that. So last year I recorded a good bit of the silage harvesting process because we were using the silage safe system for the first time. That's the canvas ratchet system. So it was great to see how that went. Um, we're kind of going backwards because I have a video of us uh, feeding the cows obviously out of the pits and taking apart the canvas um, that's over the silage. So now you'll get to see us actually putting the that whole system on the silage pit. So I have those clips put together for you now. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks a million for watching and we will catch you in the next one. Bye. No pressure now. <laughs> oh, I see. There. We guarantee someone will say, that's not how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's or, very true. Way hand your way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is a way hand your way of doing it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure it out. Was there an instruction video to watch to do this, Roderick? Or? Uh, no, he, he sent instructions and then I just rang him there this morning. Yeah. He also, when he was dropping it off, he ran it through. Okay? Yeah. He ran it through with me. Okay. But I rang him this morning again and he talked me through it again. Okay. Oh, so they slot in together, is it? Yeah. This is for the rainwater, seemingly those PVC pipes. Okay. And then the two canvases overlap each other. Oh, that's a lot. So you can just leave that to the side if you want, yeah. Thanks. That's the right spot for you, isn't it? You are clever.
We're putting in our first cut now. It was cut um, on Monday, was it? Yeah. Um, it what day is today? Sunday evening. Sunday evening. Yeah. yeah. And today yes, is Tuesday. Tuesday is Tuesday. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit of a haze there. <laughs> yeah, sure, we can show them. Yeah. So, in case anybody didn't know, we were all bales. Yeah, basically. There was a small... For the last couple of years. There, yeah. was, a, there was a small silage pit on the air farm. Yeah. There is. There is, yeah. A small silage and pit. And we used to have a silage pit there where the cubicle shed is. But oh, that we is turned that into cubicles. And then, yeah, we were bales for the last five or six years, but... Which was fine, but... Um, just there's a lot of handling with them and mm. the price of plastics going up the whole time so yeah and you just have to make the break at some stage so we put in the pits now and mm -hmm. hopefully that we should have loads of capacity there to give us some extra you know a buffer as yeah. well in a bad year yeah a drought or a long winter yeah basically this will probably be the main side that we're feeding from mm -hmm. that we're taking bench you know the benches opening it up yeah but um the pit is sloped in the middle so that if we did have half a pit left over we can use say this other side for dung or for you know whatever we yeah. want so that the, the effluent won't be flowing back into <coughs> oh, yeah. the already the side that's left over mm -hmm. we left it open-ended as well kind of our contractor that was recommending that rather than having a back wall so that again if we have silage left over you can come you can say put in silage on this side and then you can go around to the other side and use up the old silage first and Freya is very happy with all of the visitors that were on the farm for the last few months <laughs> she's just been in her element yeah so the boys were here last night and they'll be here for a couple of hours this morning yeah sure. finished up yeah. finished up then yeah. great so, happy mighty yeah yeah there's about just over 50 acres went into the pit okay. so we'll be doing a second cut mm -hmm. and we'll also <coughs> we'll also be doing wraps as well and mm -hmm. um, for the out farms just a bit handier and also for any surplus paddocks here we'll probably just wrap them mm -hmm. um, to have good quality silage then as well yeah for for milking cows cool yeah but that what's gone in there now will <coughs> be our probably our main dry feed for the winter. Okay. Hello. Hello, how are you going? Hello. Good. Wow, it's oh, class. Lisa, how are you going? Good. <laughs> <laughs> I took all your plates. Okay, you show us how it's done there, so Lisa. Huh? You show us how it's done. Oh, well, there we go now. <laughs> <laughs> so you go back here now and you start here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it's us a tutorial. She says all from the shoulders. <laughs> 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 So they're just tucking this plastic just in here along the sides. My sister Lisa is doing it over there. <laughs> Good woman, Lisa. I'm just testing it out. I, I could be here tonight. <laughs> Do, yeah. So this sheet goes on and then the black is going to come back up over the walls here. And it'll come around this side as well and come over here. And then there's the green canvas that'll go on top of that oh, then as well. Here, yeah. 